were talking a little bit to, to Louie about this before, but, you know, for you, what is the, the biggest difference in what just that fully healthy wrist allows? What, what were you maybe uh, unable to do when you were fighting it, playing through it that you're now able to do now? I'll just be consistent. And I feel that because my body wasn't able to be in the, in the right position consistently, I feel like that, that affected me. I mean, I was, I was dealing with dealing with some pain and some tightness and some swelling. So, um, I mean, I tried to grind through it and, um, granted I, I played, uh, I played really good defense and I, I put together some productive at bats, but I, I was, I was just a, I was an avert. I was a version of myself. I wasn't my full normal self. And I feel that, um, even though that I, I did play okay, but I didn't play up to my potential and I knew it was because of my hand and, um, and I needed to take some time to get it healed a hundred percent because, uh, me being a hundred percent and taking time away, that's going to be the, for me, I felt like that's the, that's the best way to, to help the team in the long run, because I know it, it was, um, I know we were kind of dealing with a lot of different injuries and, and stuff like that, but, uh, for me to take the time away um, and and come back and be healthy for the for the rest of the season, uh, I think that that would that's been the most productive thing that I could do. And I uh, it was tough to to go down, and especially with the circumstances that we were dealt. But um, I'm I'm really happy I did because I feel feel completely fine. I feel healthy, and um, I'm able to do my routine normally with no pain and um, and and be myself out there. Thanks. Mike, you're next. So if you played all your home games in this ballpark, Pete, how many homers would you hit? Just as many as I would anywhere else. Because if I hit them, they'll go out. I don't care if I'm playing in Yellowstone. They'll go out. And overall, what, what, what do you think of uh, the way the lineup is uh, produced here in the last week plus since you've gotten a couple of guys back? I mean, it, it's been uh, it's it's been great, and I think that the more and more guys that we get back healthy, the more and more dangerous we're going to be. I mean, our pitchers have been doing just a an incredible job this year. They've they've kept us in first place. They've they've really helped us out, especially when we had some guys in our lineup down that that are key uh, that are key components to helping us win. But the fact that they've been able to hold this hold us down and kind of carry the team so far, I mean, it's it's been. Awesome. I mean, starting pitching has been great, and, and the bullpen has been um, – that they've been absolutely outstanding. So it's been, it's been great to have their support in, in a time of need, and, and that's, what, that's what winning teams do. That's what champion, championship teams do throughout the course of the year. And, um, I mean, they're, they, they've really helped us out, and I think that they've been a really huge key to our success. Are you all in the moment, or do you stop to think occasionally – Wow, when we get Nimmo back, JD can Ford right down the line, this lineup can be something special. No, absolutely. I mean, we've been doing a really good job um, with everybody that we have now. We've put a lot of runs up on the board, um, and we're, we're looking to continue to do that. But as soon as we get our uh, be firing on, on full on full capacity, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Kim Miro. I know the players on the field, of course, get the most credit for the team's success. But what, what do you think of the job Rojas has done this year? Oh, he's been he's been excellent. Um, and I feel that like even though that we've had a lot of, of roadblocks and uh, and speed bumps with a lot of guys going down, it, I mean he's done an absolutely incredible job managing uh, managing the staff that we have on every single day. I mean it's been kind of a revolving door of people because of all everyone going down and how he's uh, put a lineup out that gives us our, our team the best chance to win and uh, make the right moves uh, with guys coming in from the bullpen. I mean, he's done an incredible job. Yes, guys, like we, we have to perform every single day. Um, but I mean, he's done a really good job of putting guys in the situations uh, for so they can be the most successful. Thank you. Justin, you're up. Hey, Pete, good to see you. Uh, with all the injuries, do you think you guys can be better because you had to deal with this, at this adversity and go through this stretch? No, absolutely. And then also, um, I mean, it, it's it, 
having having everybody back is going to be uh it's going to be great for the morale i mean we figured out how to win games with uh with the challenges whether it be uh missing games because of covid missing games because of weather missing games for whatever reason and then guys being unhealthy um or guys getting hurt so it's um we we've had a lot of adversity so far to the start of the season and to be where we're at in first place um in a really tough division is um i mean it's it's Awesome. I mean, it's a great feeling to be in first and um, we want to keep it that way. And then as soon as we keep getting everybody back healthy, then we want to extend our lead. So um, it, it's been a it's been a tough start, but we're right where we want to be and we want to keep climbing and uh, keep on going until we get to where we want to be in October. Thank you. Yes. Next up is Dave Waltzke. Hey, Pete, I'm wondering if you think MLB is doing the right thing by cracking down on pitchers with uh, sticky stuff, and if so, why? Oh, absolutely not. I think that um, – I, I don't think so because, for me, I think that every – since the start of the game, pitchers have been using uh, substances. I mean, there's a bag of rosin behind the mound right now to help guys dry their hands and get grip. Uh, for me, I think whether they're using pine tar, rosin, uh, bullfrog or sunscreen and rosin or whatever they want to use to help control the ball, let them use it. Because for me, it's like I go in the box every single day and I see guys throwing harder and harder <laughs> every day. And I don't want to I don't want 99 slipping out of someone's hand because they didn't have enough feel for it. I think that the the biggest concern is that uh, Major League Baseball manipulates the baseballs year in and year out, depending on the free agency class or guys being in an advanced uh, part of their arbitration. So I do think that's a big issue. Um, the ball being different every single year with other sports, the ball's the same, like basketball, football, tennis, golf, like ball's the same. So I think that that's the, that's the real issue with uh, the changing of the baseballs and Maybe if they didn't, the league didn't change the baseball, pitchers wouldn't need to use as much sticky stuff because uh, for guys that feel the ball and throw the ball every single day and for it to change every single year, it's not fair to the people who are using it every single day and throwing it. So for me, I, I would rather them have, um, have control. I don't care what they use. I mean, for me, I use pine tar when I go to hit. I have a lizard skin. I have batting gloves like – I have the most advantage when it comes to holding on my bat. So I wouldn't care because on our on deck bag, we have pine tar rag, a pine tar stick, um, like a like a special sticky spray, rosin. I mean, you name it, we have it. I mean, I wouldn't care if they had that behind the mound to help hold on to the ball because when we start getting into these hotter months, guys start to sweat. And let's say if they lose a fastball arm side, I mean, we all saw what happened to Kevin Pilar, and that's that's scary. And we're lucky that he only got, he only had a broken nose. And I mean, it could be a lot worse depending on, um, depending on where it hits a guy. I mean, hundred mile an hour fastball, even though you're wearing a helmet, that's, that's scary. So I'd, I'd rather have guys have as much stick as possible and focus on throwing the ball in the box as opposed to taking it away from them. Thanks, Pete. Absolutely. Wayne, you're up. Hey, Pete, just uh, wanted to get your thoughts about the crowds being larger at City Field this weekend. I think the capacity is going to be around 33,000 and what that will mean to you and to the players on the team to have the fans, you know, that many fans again back at home. It's going to be fun. I mean, I, 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 hope, I hope they absolutely uh, make the stadium shake. I mean, when we score a run, if someone gets a big hit or someone on a gets a big strikeout, I, I hope that we feel the ground shaking. I, I can't wait for everybody to get rowdy, make some noise, and and uh, and, and make make their presence felt. I mean, I, I miss that energy at City, and it's going to be great to get it back. So, um, I mean, I, I hope I hope it's like a – I hope it's a party. I hope everyone has fun when they go out to the game. Pat Regasso, you're up. Hey, Pete, um, you guys have put up some pretty big offensive numbers since the start of May. I was wondering what you th how you think the uh, impact of Quattlebaum and the new hitting coaches have uh, made on you guys in your lineup. I mean, they've, they've, they've been really great. I mean, they, they're really focused on daily routines, keep making sure everyone is, um, is in the same, isn't, has, is the same guy keeping their same swing and keeping their same approach because the biggest thing, um, 
for a hitter, you want to have uh, consistency and you want to be in your same routine and have your same swing every single day. So they've been doing a really good job of uh, keeping up with us, um, like maintaining our, our normal swings and making sure that we're on top of our uh, planning. And they've been doing a really good job of helping us be prepared to not just uh, there for swing analyzation. So they've, they've been doing a really good job so far. Back to you, Tim. There's been lots of talk in recent years about the changes MLB made or maybe made to the baseball year to year, like you referenced. I hadn't heard until you mentioned it, the idea that they do it based on free agent class. Is, is that something that players talk about and, and believe in? Oh, no, that's that's a fact. It's not. It's, it's yes, we I mean, guys have talked about it, but um, I mean, in 2019, there's uh, there's a huge class of free agent pitchers. Uh, and then that's quote unquote, the juice balls. And then, uh, 2020, it was a strange year with the COVID, uh, the COVID season. But now that we're back to playing a regular season with uh, a ton of shortstops or position players, uh, that are going to be, that are owed, going to be paid a lot of money, like high, high caliber players. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a, it's not a coincidence. And I, I think that if, yeah, I, I, that's, Definitely, it definitely is something that they do.